we have subtraction of rational numbers, we use the same rule like for subtracting integers. So we change subtraction to addition of opposite. So we have to copy first number, negative 7.8, we change subtraction to addition and opposite to 5.4 is negative 5.4. And again, subtraction, we change to addition. And opposite to 10.07 is negative 10.07. So this is equal. Now we have addition of three negative numbers. Three negative. So we copy negative sign and we just add these three numbers. So we have 7.8 plus 5.4. And we have plus 10.07. So negative sign we have to copy and we have to add these three numbers. So we have 7.8, 5.4 and we have 10.07. We have to keep hundreds in the same column, tens in the same decimal point might be in the same column, ones and tens in the same column. We have addition. Empty spaces we can uh, replace by zero. So zero plus seven is seven. Eight plus four is twelve. So we have to, to write two and one. We add two ones. We copy the decimal point. One plus seven is eight. Plus five is thirteen. Plus zero is thirteen. So three and one. We add to next column. So it will be one plus one is two. So. This is equal, negative sign, we rewrite, 23.27. We have subtraction, again. Now we have subtraction of integers, how we do this? We change subtraction to addition of its opposite. So the first number we copy, negative 5. Subtraction we change to addition, opposite to negative 4 is 4. So I just remember, negative and negative give you always positive. This rule we have to memorize. It's very easy. Negative and negative build one positive sign. So we have 4 and again subtraction we change to addition of opposite so opposite to 10 is negative 10 so this is equal we have addition so we can add this two negative numbers first and next positive so when we add two negative numbers we copy negative sign and we just add 5 and 10 and we have plus 4. So this is equal. Negative sign we copy. 5 plus 10 is 15 plus 4. Now when we have addition of integers, one is negative, one positive, first we check this, which of these two numbers is greater. We forget about negative sign. So 15 is greater, is greater than 4. So we check the sign before a greater number is negative. So we copy negative sign and we subtract from the greater number smaller. So this is equal negative sign we copy 15 minus 4 is 11. This is my solution.